Hello world, welcome back to Razor RC. I got another little hack for you today and we are gonna be talking about how to use a lithium battery for your uh, RC radio. So most RC radios, especially the cheaper ones, uh, come set up for AA batteries usually four AA batteries, uh, including this, the Spectrum DX5C. And I'm not a big fan of the AA batteries because uh, they're kind of clumsy to use. You know, you can't really recharge them. Um, so uh, really a popular modification I make to pretty much all my radios is to get rid of those AA's and run this. So I like running these. This is a lithium iron battery, so it's a life battery. Life PO4 battery. Um, some people like to use LiPo batteries. I'm actually not a big fan of using LiPo batteries in your transmitter because LiPo batteries are a little more unsafe. You know, they can catch on fire. Um, if you throw them, you know, sort of storm away in your closet for a long time, they can discharge and damage themselves. So, Life batteries are a lot more safe. Um, and then the other big advantage of life batteries is that it runs at 6.6, 6.7 volts uh, fully charged, which is a lot closer to four double A's. So four double A's is gonna be six volts. Uh, if you try to run a LiPo battery, you're gonna be running at like 8.4 volts for a 2S battery, which is just like pretty much way too high generally, especially for something like this, a Spectrum DX5C. Uh, this is actually only rated at six volts. If you call up Spectrum, they'll say, uh, you know, don't do that. Um, we don't support it, so uh, this 100% will void your warranty. So if if you care about your warranty, then uh, do not do this modification. Little disclaimer there, but uh, I like doing this, and it's working out really well. So I just want to show you how it's actually done. So this is a battery I'm using, a Turnigy Nanotech 2100 milliamp hour battery. It'll last somewhere around 15, 20 hours or so uh, in a in a transmitter, so pretty long life. I would get something at least 1500 milliamp hours to 2000. Um, you do have to want find one that fits. This one definitely fits, but most other life batteries do not fit. So I'll put a link down below and you can see how it's actually, uh, how to pick one up. So there's really only a few little things you gotta do. First, you gotta cut off the regular battery tray and put on what is commonly known as a Futaba connector. So uh, one of these guys, there's lots of videos out there on how to do it. I'm not gonna do it right now. Uh, but yeah, you just plug that back in. Excuse me. And then a couple other things you gotta do is basically trim down a couple little tabs in here. So there's one tab here on the inside, kinda hard to see. I'll put down a picture and then there's another tab down here you gotta kinda trim down a little bit. So see if we can get a little light in there um, kind of hard to see but yeah basically one tab you gotta remove all the way and the one you gotta kind of trim right down there you can see it's kind of like cut a little bit but that's just to make room for this battery just to make sure it fits because it's a little bit wide it's hard to find a battery that's like thin enough so that's the the main thing you're gonna have to find but um this one fits pretty much perfectly you can just kind of tuck that in away Throw the extra battery wires on the side there. And then, uh, yeah, it just fits pretty much uh, right in there. So close that up and then you can turn it on and then you'll see DX5C. It'll check the voltage and uh, show you, yeah, 6.7 volts. So yeah, 6.7 volts is much closer to say four double A's, which is uh, six volts. So yeah, that's a, just a nice little easy hack for your Spectrum DX5C or really any radio should be able to run one of these as long as the battery will fit. Now, I will say one thing about life batteries, you do need a, do need a charger that will actually charge life batteries. So uh, some are only LiPo compatible. Most will actually do nickel metal hydride, LiPo, Life and other types. So make sure you have a life battery charger with a Futaba connector. And the other thing I would note about life batteries if you've never used one is they have kind of a flat uh, discharge curve so pretty much it'll sit at like 6.7 6.8 volts fully charged 6.6 .6, and just kind of stay at that all the way until it's almost fully empty and then it'll drop down to like 6.5 6.4 once it hits around 6.4 volts 
it's actually like 90% uh, discharge. So when you see a drop off, a lot of people get that confused. They're like, oh, 6.5 volts, 6.4 volts. I got plenty of juice left. But no, actually once it hits down to that 6.4, especially 6.3 volt range, you're pretty much fully empty and it's time to recharge. So just something to note if you've <clears throat> never used life batteries before, but I do like these a lot more than the LiPo batteries just because they're a lot safer. Um, they're quite cheap as well. I think this one's somewhere around 20, 25 bucks. And then, uh, yeah, the voltage matches a lot closer to four double A's than something like a 2S battery. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, definitely like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button. Look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.